So Vinita, uh, are you uh, listening to me? You here? I think she must be busy. But anyway, uh, we have uh, almost um, 11 members over there. So I think we should start because uh, we have just uh, almost one hour left. So uh, welcome all you once again. So this session is on... Uh, um, uh, specifically for the teaching learning of the biology, we will be using different type of content and the tools that I believe that might be. Uh, okay, thank you. So uh, I, I believe that might be helpful uh, for you. And we will go through the range of the content. Okay, that uh, some content that you are currently using and some other content like augmented and virtual reality, virtual labs that we will see that how you can make use of this type of content and what type of content is actually available. So is there any issue with the language or I can continue with the Hindi English or only in English? Because you should understand the concept that's more important than the language. So if uh, anyone having issue, you may please uh, write in the chat box. Okay, so Arunachal Pradesh uh, and uh, others are, so it's okay. Huh? Okay, so I have a very a uh, brief um, and small presentation. This is just to uh, let you know that Continue the different with... type of... Yeah, ma'am. Anyone is talking? Hello? Okay. Okay, we will do it in Hindi. Not an issue. Okay, so I will... Are you able to see my presentation? Yes, sir. Okay. So here we'll be discussing. The first we go through the first 10 to 12 minutes. We will spend on this uh, presentation for the slides. And then we'll be moving towards uh, the type of content that we see in the slide. And we'll move to that sir, part. One also. question, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, laptop or desktop is required or mobile is okay? Uh, if you can keep your mobile free for hands-on activity, that will be better. Okay, so, so that mobile you will can, be better. Um, it, it see if if you are connected through the mobile, it's okay. But if you currently attach to some laptop or desktop, then it's much better. So that your mobile is free to do some experiments. Okay, so okay. no but need to ship... open a desktop or laptop because I uh, was there in road. Now I am in my home. Not an issue, sir. Not not an issue. Whatever you are on devices, you are connected to me. It's comfortable. Okay. okay. But okay. but I'm saying because uh, if you try with me, I will give the time to try. If there is any troubleshoot, that we can discuss immediately. Okay. Okay. So because a mobile, it's a very um, uh, you know a fast and impressive device than the laptop also. Okay. But okay. how to use mobile? On multi, uh, you know, um, we can also divide the screen in the mobile. That the half will play mind part and half you can do the activity. I don't know how you do it with your mobile phone. But in uh, case of uh, uh, Android, I have this one, uh, OnePlus with me. So just um, scroll down that the screen to that part and then it will show you that option. But anyway, you can uh, go through with me. So I'm talking about the content. Okay, so we are uh, definitely the document type of content that we are using from the very long and document. We have the different type of file extension and the content we can say like PDF. We have doc, we have then uh, PowerPoint presentation, spreadsheets, um, then open format and EPUB is also there. And uh, if you remember that the EPUB is a bit interactive. Okay, because uh, say for example, if you send a PDF or you make a PDF out of any word file or from PowerPoint presentation, if you have embedded in video, the video will not run in the PDF. That you know it very well. But EPUB had that all functionality. You can add the video 
other content whatever dr nidhi has said in uh, that <laughs> she's uh, you have the test also okay all type of content you can run in epub itself so that's the beauty of that one also you can also use this one i will show one other sample then we have the images type of content that definitely you are clicking a large number of images okay you are much familiar with them and it's very helpful sometime to show the content in the class the images we have the different file formats like jpg png tiff svg so as you are also going to develop some of the content so my advice is a for example you are in biology i will take the examples of biology biology in within single image you want to show everything okay you wanted that the students can scratch that and you can see the pancreas also the maximum level so definitely you can create your own images or you may search from the images but what type of image so for example it's a digestive system so out digestive system is a one keyword what other keyword you will use whether a jpg png tiff or svg okay so that image that we can stretch to the maximum is basically the scalable vector graphic which is svg so it means if i'm looking from the internet so i'm looking for digestive system dot svg sometime we wanted that image that should superimpose like the a, uh, image of the hand you wanted an image the, of the hand but not that in circular patch or in that rectangular patch or in square patch you wanted only hand that you paste it on ppt you paste it anywhere it should only look hand so it means you are looking for portable network graphic image dot png so this is very important actually to know the file extensions when you are dealing with the content whether it's a development of the content or using that content you should know the quality of that content image is fine you can search from the internet but out of this which image you are going to search that's more important <clears throat> then we have this document type of content where we have the Uh, liberty to listen to the content and you know that ncrt has converted almost all the textbook into audio daisy file format which are available on various portals through the radio programs and on diksha and other portals these are available but it has some uh, file extensions also at this point of time if we say that i'm uh, .mp3 is the highly acceptable file format so for example if you are going to develop any content and you have the requirement of this audio file okay so most of the uh, portal or app or editor they prefer dot mp3 file okay that you need to check from where you are recording the uh, your audio program so for example mostly i use my own mobile phone okay whatever app i'm using from the setting setting me jaake i'm converting that in that a file output i need only dot mp3 because if for example if um, the editor where i am editing that or the h5p or other thing where i am developing that content is not accepting that dot az or wave file then what will you do so that we should know the file extension and which is our requirement accordingly you change the setting and get that file format when it is recorded then we have the video file format okay video we are well versed with the video that might be the combination of the images or the audio or wave और कभी कभी हम बहुत सारा ऑडियो और वीडियो प्रोग्राम बिकॉज इस समय की हम बात करें एट दिस पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम सो वीडियो इज ऑलमोस्ट द नंबर वन कंटेंट बट इट आल्सो हैज सम सर्टेन फाइल फॉर्मेट लाइक इफ यू से दीक्षा दीक्षा मोस्टली एक्सेप्ट दैट डॉट एम पी थ्री और एम पी फोर फाइल फॉर द वीडियो इन हाई डेफिनेशन ओके सो इफ यू डोंट नो इट यू आर डेवलपिंग द कंटेंट फॉर दीक्षा एंड यू डोंट नो दैट वट दीक्षा विल एक्सेप्ट सो देन यू हैव दैट इशू सो यू शुड नो इट when we are recording the content with that dslr or other cameras so we are taking that into dot mov format so for example if the content is of 30 minutes duration video the file size must be around 15 to 60 or to 20 gb itself which is a very bulky file format but when we edited that file file format and converted it to dot mp4 it will go around half gb or maximum 1 gb okay but sending that 1 gb or half gb file to your learner is not advisable so it means you can further convert that file by using any uh, koi bhi aap video editor use karenge usko use karke if you convert that file like into webm portal okay aur aapko pata hai ki aapka jo learner hai uske paas sirf mobile phone hai to mobile phone mein dekhne ke liye white required that bulky videos na accordingly if you change the file into the different file extensions file size will decrease accordingly but definitely thoda sa uska quality will decrease hota hai but 
on mobile phone that will work perfectly. And also, we should know it as per our need. So for example, you have some other needs, like if you develop the content for um, embedding that video in EPUB, for example, in book within that book. So it means you don't require that uh, high definition video. Standard definition video will also work. Otherwise, it make that file very bulky. So these are the few file extensions that we have from the video itself. Then we have the another type of content, which is interactive type of content. We are actually a uh, technical interaction is possible. And you, uh, in H5P, it creates a uh, hundred percent interactive content, whatever type of content you will do. So you are well versed with that. What is interactive content, but file type in interactive content, it depends upon the software that you use to make that uh, file. So for example, in case of H5P, you can download into H5P itself. Okay. But uh, in some time, <clears throat> uh, some of the software and the portals gives us the HTML tag and we only knew, uh, need to embed that HTML tag into that portal wherever you wanted to upload that content that your content will be available on that portal so these are some of the uh, content that you must be using now we have the this immersive type of content and even definitely you have gone through the national education policy also and the content guidelines that CIT and CIT has already developed. So they also talked about this immersive type of content. And here you can see there is a, the content has evolved with the ages, okay? Like now we are in the uh, 21st century. So we have this immersive type of content. The only difference is when you see this type of content with some specialized gadgets, you feel that immersion that you are a part of the content. So that things is happening in this Content. We will also see some of the example, mostly from immersive type of content. I will also show you that how you can see that content. So, <clears throat> and how it is look like. Then immersive type of content, we have the augmented reality, virtual reality, and mixed reality. So we have started uh, from uh, this uh, document that you are using in your uh, regular teaching learning process, images that you are using, audio, you are well versed. Video, definitely, you know it and uh, interactive, you are also working on it. And now we have this immersive. Now, what is the difference? So for example, if I'm teaching the skeletal system, I will show you the skeletal system in the virtual reality and mixed reality also. Then you will see the difference that showing a document where the content is written or showing an image, or maybe you can have your own image on the whiteboard or blackboard, are showing an audio for the same content are showing an video interactive or immersive what is the difference so being a teacher if content is accessible to you so for example if virtual reality content is accessible to you then definitely you go for virtual reality okay but if not available then whatever content you feel that this concept should be done with this one that we should know okay so <clears throat> comes to augmented reality <clears throat> augmented reality by definition if you say it's so quite simple that you are going to teach a concept okay with the concept uh, that concept is being augmented with the help of some 3d software simulations and presented to the students in their own environment so this is what we call the augmented reality uh, i will show uh, some of the example but i believe that you most of the people you have the android devices right so if you want to try, you just try with your mobile phone because currently I'm uh, attached with the uh, iOS. So I will do demonstrate on iOS itself. And the app that we will uh, see, it's available in both Android and iOS also, whatever tools that we use. But I wonder that you should try uh, this one if, 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 if it's possible. So for example, open your Google Chrome, okay and type tiger although this will not fetch over here because uh, i'm using my uh, tab so here you will see the view in 3d so if anyone please try this one okay so just to understand that what is augmented reality so augmented reality as i said that i'm going to teach the concept of wild animals and with the wild animals i'm just going to discuss this tiger so with the help of some 3d software simulations the tiger will be augmented and presented to the user in their own environment. So if you are doing this, please uh, type this tiger 
and just scroll down and find out where it is written view in 3D. Click on this one. So your tiger will be available in 3D. You can see it's a 3D. You can uh, change um, with your fingers to any side. You can zoom in and you can whatever you wanted to do. And it also has the sound. Let me check it. So, uh, okay. So it has that sounds. Okay. So if you are getting this one, there must be written um, below this tiger view in your space. Because this is, I said that this is, uh, I will discuss why it is not there. But if you are on Android phone, you are definitely be there. Um, uh, it must be written view in your space. If you click on this one, your camera will automatically open. Now you need to scan that camera or your surface area, non-reflecting surface area. And then the tiger will be available over there. So this is uh, the definition that we said that we are going to teach the concept of tiger. And with the help of some 3D software simulations, that concept is being augmented and presented to the user in their own environment. So this is the one of the uh, simplest and best example of using this uh, um, augmented reality. There's a lot of content which is available and you don't need to uh, install the app for this. So for example, in biology, let's have this digestive system. Okay, so just scroll down. So at the bottom, you will see it is written digestive system in 3D. Just click on this one. So your whole digestive system will be available in 3D. You can zoom in, zoom out, whatever you want. So see, below this one definitely is written that view in your space. If you click on this, the ISO system will be open in your room. Okay, I will do some other demonstrations using this one. But if you wanted to try, you can do this. But if you are an Android phone and it is not coming below that view in your space, then we will go for the troubleshoot because then we need to see the compatibility of your mobile phone. So here uh, you will see that uh, uh, what I said that if nothing is written, just like on this screen, and if you are on an Android phone, then we need to check whether your phone is compatible with the, this uh, platform or not because the platform is developed by the Google and uh, uh, it's based on the Google's AR core and only open on that devices which are compatible with the AR core. And simply, if you want to check your mobile phone, you just go to AR core supported devices. Just go to Google and click on AR core supported devices. Then you will find the, all the devices and their models which are supported by this portal, okay, or this technology. This is AR core. You can see it's here, okay. So, let me check if uh, mine is there. So all these phones which are uh, supported, say for example, here if you see, uh, Maybe we are not familiar with this phone, but uh, uh, let's see Motorola. Okay. So if you see that this one is G Play, okay, nothing is written over there. So it means I have doubt if these phones are compatible. Where it is written that supports multiple Jaxxerar mode support depth API, that devices will work perfectly. Otherwise, where nothing is written, so then there is an issue with that devices. So if your device is not working with this one, you may come here and search for your devices because uh, uh, this is uh, the certification problem. So whenever Google or your device will take certification from the Google, it will perfectly work. So, and it's not depends upon whether you have purchased a new phone or you have the old phone, it doesn't matter. Even if you have the uh, currently available phone, so definitely you need to, work out in that case also okay so here's the iphone and uh, the ipad okay so ipad pro okay so it is not listed actually uh ipad pro uh fifth generation is there mine is sixth generation okay 
so currently fifth generation but nothing is there uh, obviously they have that issues uh, of uh, apple and uh, google but that's not an issue for us okay so this is uh, one of the example that you can try so now uh, i will try some of the apps which are available in both the portals so one of the such app and it's the best uh, i can say so so for example the dissection of frog so in biology it's almost no we don't have any dissection of frog no more dissection of the frogs but as a teacher i feel that the student should know the process at least that how we can dissect the frog there are many reasons to that so uh, this augmented reality will help you that you can actually perform this simulation over here so let me uh, close my uh, camera to save the connectivity but my voice will be there so you can see this app is available for both the portals so for uh, i um, iphone and um, android phone so here we can start this activity so as i said that as a thumb rule augmented reality whenever we are using augmented reality your camera will automatically be open whatever app you can use you must have seen that your children they are using the filters on um, the different camera apps so these filters are basically the um, ar filters okay augmented reality filters the so same technology and same technique and same tools that we use for the teaching learning process so in same way the camera will automatically be open but you need to scan the non reflecting surface matlab surface area jo aapka niche ka surface hai aapka wo scan karna hai but wo reflection nahi hona chahiye ha agar you feel that your first or the roof uh, sorry this surface is very reflective you have marble or something else so then put some mat over there just like i have put one ma mat over there you will see that one also so let's go for this uh, uh, you can also go for the external anatomy or internal anatomy so now we will go for the internal anatomy so you can see that uh, camera is automatically open and i have that mat over there this is my surface is also very reflective so now you can see click on this one so our uh, experimental tray is ready you can see this one huh? so the voice over is also there and the written part is also there so, so you can see it's a beautiful we have uh, Uh, all the instrument which are required the frog is here and we have that dissection tray and uh, the another di dissection tray where we need to put that organs of the dissections okay so the first instruction is to select the appropriate tool from the tray to perform each dissection each dissection step fix the limbs of the frog so first we need to fix the limb so definitely we know that pins are required so click on the pins you will see that pins had fixed the limbs so this is the first part because see uh, we should uh, have this type of content and we are not actually tearing of the actual frog you can do is as many as time as uh, one want to try okay to be a skillful person then mark the pathways so we need to mark the pathways uh, with this highlighter or the pen so click on this one it marks a pathway and same pathway we did when at our time we cut these frogs Okay, now make the incisions on the skin. So definitely, we require this razor. So with razor, we need to make the deep incisions on the frog's skin. Now we need to move the skin flaps. Okay, so with the help of forceps, we can uh, move the skin flap. So pick the forceps, then move the skin. flaps now we need to fix the flaps okay of the skin so uh, pick the pins and then fix that flap now cut through the muscles so definitely at this point we need to cut through the uh, muscles with the help of scissors okay and not with the help of razor so pick up the scissor and cut that part exactly at the same point where you have put the marker with the pen okay now cut the flaps and the muscle tissue out of the way so definitely we need to with the help of forceps we need to 
uh, separate that uh, skin flaps. And again, uh, we need to fix these uh, skin flaps with the help of pins. So pick the pin and fix that flap. Now start uh, pulling the organs. So first we will go for the liver. So take your forceps and pull the levers and put it in the dissection tray. Then the second organ, we need to put the heart, but definitely heart is attached with the arteries and veins. So we need to cut them. So pick up the scissor. <clears throat> now with the help of forcep, pick the heart and place it on the dissection tray. Now we wanted to be the uh, uh, gallbladder to be picked up. So again, pick up the forcep and place it on the gallbladder. Then cut the small intestine free. So pick up the scissor and cut the small intestine from both the ends. And then <clears throat> pick up that small intestine with the help of forceps and place in the dissection tray. Then pick up the uh, stomach then large intestine, then two fat bodies are there that we also wanted to remove. So pick up the forcep. Okay, so then we need to pick up the lungs, but first we need to cut that lungs. So pick up the scissor and cut the lung free. Now pick up the lungs with the help of forceps. And now finally we have the kidneys which are remaining over there. So make an uh, incisions with the help of razor. So cut the kidneys uh, free. And now pick up the kidneys uh, with the help of forceps and place in the kidney tray. So this is the process, uh, so for example, your students need to follow. Okay, but no, as dissections are banned, but at least this uh, augmented reality can help in um, a better way rather than a video or any other resources that we show that how you can dissect the frog. But here they can actually, with their own hands, they can cut the frogs in a um, virtual medium. So this is uh, one of the best uh, use of this augmented reality. So I will also share the link for this app and uh, which is available as a free uh, on both the portals, whether it's a uh, um, uh, Android or it's um, uh, iOS. Okay. So next part of the slide, you see that we have this uh, we will um, um, discuss more resources also, more tools also. But one by one, first we will uh, finish what we are going to teach. So then we have this virtual reality and mixed reality. In virtual reality, uh, uh, augmented reality, I said that if you are going to teach a concept and with the help of some 3D, 3D software simulations, that concept is being augmented and presented to the user in their own environment. Okay, as you see in that, uh, we presented that um, uh, di um, dissection of frog in uh, our own real-time environment and it's part of our own uh, uh, classroom structure or where you are seating. Okay. What in virtual reality, the things which are virtually available. And if you see that things with the help of some gadgets like the virtual reality box, you feel then immersion that you're a part of the content and you feel it as a reality so this is what we call the virtual reality and the mixed reality you can say that both the combination of augmented and virtual reality that you are inside the virtual environment and you are actually interacting with that whatever things that inside it so we'll do one demonstration of this one and then we will move to other portals so uh, 
is my camera is on is it uh, available to you my camera anyone can respond so that you can also see what i'm doing anyone okay okay, okay. yes sir yes sir your camera is on so basically uh, for this uh, virtual and mixed reality we require some uh, head mounted devices if you have any chance to come to cit you must have seen that one experiential learning center is there so one uh, that devices are there and content is there and very interactive and immersive content which is available the same way i will try with my own device but you will see that what i'm seeing on in that device inside it you will see it on the screen i will render it through the screen okay so that uh, we can do so this is uh, one of the set that i have so i have fixed one of the simulation in biology in it and uh, these are basically the triggers so let me first uh, share uh, the screen inside it just wait i will uh, do that one okay so are you able to see my screen are you able to see what i am seeing inside it yes sir okay so here uh, you can see that i'm uh, inside the uh, uh, one virtual space are you able to see this is a uh, looking like the app uh, lab that uh, some lab is there so this is the virtual space so i am inside it and these are the controllers that i have i also can use my hand also but i am not in uh, right now very perfect in <laughs> dealing the things with hand also so that's why i need the help of these controllers so this is the controller you can see so here uh, we have this uh, tutorial start and other things so let's start this uh, simulation okay so are you able to see something in front in front of me okay yes sir so what is this anyone a skeleton what is skeleton yeah this is a skeleton system so with the help of these controllers i can move it to any side okay i can move around also but i am sitting on the chair so i can do right now and let me that space although i can move with the, on all sides you can see it's a uh, and it will come to near to me also okay so here it is so uh whatever where i will click the information will be available in front of me like here so for example if i click here then the skull and all the information is in front of me so i'm inside the virtual environment and i'm interacting with the things this is what we call is the uh mixed reality now i can actually handle all the things so for example this is the skull so i can have the skull in my hand i can keep it here you can see in front of me okay so now with help of these uh, triggers i can actually interact with this one i can see i can zoom in as as much as possible you will see right i can see every bone of it i can bring it to any side and i can separate each bone you can see i have separate out each bone so for example this is the maxilla okay i can put the maxilla separately to the other side and then i can study this one i can uh, uh, keep this maxilla as maximum as uh, i can do okay to study now you can see the differences because this gives me that immersion i am actually inside the lab and things which inside the lab i can deal with see this is the uh, openings for the teeth okay so you can calculate 
whatever you want to do, you can just do with this one. And all information is in front of your eyes. You can put that information over there. Yeah, this is a maxilla lab. Okay, it's so the largest symmetrical bone of the facial part of the skull. Together with the opposite jaw bone to which it is linked, they form the prince. Uh, okay, let it be. So, like this one. Again, I can uh, unfold it and put it back to that skeletal system. Okay, let the skeletal system to come this side. So, I can... Uh, so here the skeletal system is, you can see. So I can put that one into again on the skeletal system. So this way, uh, this is what we call is the mixed reality. Okay. That we are inside and we are handled. I, I, you can separate every bone. You can have different activities inside it. So you can separate out each bone. Just click on this one. And this is the humerus. If you pick this humerus with the two hands, you can make it enlarge as much as possible. You can see the humerus is now almost equal to the whole skeletal system. Okay. So this way you can deal with it. So this is what we call this the uh, mixed reality or uh, virtual reality which is available. There's a large number of content which is freely available, but definitely you require uh, uh, this type of gadget to see this one. That's why uh, this um, 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 PIT and CRT has taken this initiative of this um, uh, implementing the this experiential learning centers so that um, you can come to their centers and interact with this, this type of content. And definitely they are also in the process of, uh, uh, you know, having the centers in the states also. But as an individual, if you wanted to try so these headsets actually started from a few hundred rupees, uh, but uh, these are the two different headsets. These are the standalone, but where you, um, so for example, the chief one you can get almost from 500 or something from Amazon or in Delhi or some other cases. And use, uh, download these apps on your mobile phone, which are freely available, and then use that mobile phone inside that headset and enjoy that type of content that you can immediately uh, do in your classes. Then uh, some other type of content uh, also I have uh, curated that might be uh, helpful for you. So without using any other devices. So let's see uh, this type of uh, content. So first, uh, see, as I said that uh, this uh, interactive book, because uh, uh, there is a possibility of developing interactive book on uh, H5P also. As uh, uh, Nidhi Ma'am has said that you must be developing some content and create some original content. Okay. So you can also create uh, this uh, interactive textbook. So I, I just show you the video because uh, Hi. I have not Welcome downloaded this on my this system. But you can book. see it's a video. As the so I will be demonstrating this works. one. So this is uh, the interactive uh, uh, textbook where you can put the video within that textbook. Okay, and you can develop that, that textbook on H5P also. So for example, this is a story of ant. So if I have written some content, the learner can uh, learn that content. And accordingly, there is a video. A they can also see the explanatory like, part in the why learner video. So if you click on that video, that video will also So that I'm explore talking about the movement of the ant in a one parallel, uh, in a one single direction. Okay. So then I'm saying that the food habits of the ant and uh, we have that one video which is uh, uh, embedded within the textbook. So I'm not saying that you go to the YouTube and see the video from this portal and read the, the text. Now, everything is embedded within the video. So this is the tactile movement of the, the high resolution Then life images. cycle of the ant, with the, the high content. resolution images um, like SVG, scalable vector graphics. You can zoom in order to maximum to see the structure of the different organisms. Apart from this, and then I have some used VR, the virtual, the virtual reality, reality booms content is okay, also provided the sand booms, in this the vegetation book. in that and, and, and then, and then we have this interactive, interactive assessment which I have developed on the H5P and I put it over there, uh, in, insert and embedded in this textbook. So this way, this is a, I feel that a very impressive tool. If you can make uh, uh, during this, uh, <laughs> you know, 
your submission if you go to the h5p and create an interactive textbook that definitely be your own content uh, original idea that i believe that so if you go to there, the setting so you, you have a have different from, type of setting uh, you can develop from there so this is uh, one of the other tool that you can uh, develop and use so there is a uh, one portal uh, i have written all this uh, website on my web uh, this uh, powerpoint presentation i will share with the uh, nidhi they definitely will be getting that one so here uh, um, the this is uh, the jigod portal okay some of the content which is available free so like uh, here uh, you can see in biology uh, definitely we require that good um, uh, structures so it's a left side menu if you see you can uh, change the body uh, that's uh, maybe in into male and female but currently it's uh, by default it's a female so if i going to change it so definitely uh, loading takes some time so let's go with uh, this um, um sample okay so then uh, there is a, a slider menu you slowly slide this one and then the layers will be changing you can see it's a uh, uh, please uh, uh, you uh, mute yourself whoever uh, whose mics is open um, abdul sir please uh, mic your thank you okay not an issue maybe some issues are there please uh, you mute it okay so now you can slowly if you drag it so the all the layers will be opening and you can see the changes are happening over there you will see all the system at the one place and you can also zoom in zoom out rotate it to any side with your fingers because this is a very interactive content that we have so that definitely helpful for you in the uh, teaching in, in in your class rather than to show an image if we can get access to this type of content which is freely available so i believe that which is much better than showing uh, an image then uh, just go down you will see slowly slowly you can remove the layers okay now again you can zoom in and you will see the structure of the heart with all the arteries and veins then you can see just uh, the aorta and other content and again uh, you see this drag to the low part so now we are only with the medulla oblongata and the structure of the brain so again if you go to the upside so it's so all the content will uh, the layers will reappear and you can accordingly use this one okay so i feel uh, this is uh, one of the uh, good tool at the portal which is freely available to use you can use this one then we have this uh, uh, virtual labs for school education which is also uh, available on diksha because these are being mapped with the diksha so we have all this uh, content over there so then here um uh, you can go to the uh, biotechnology or other so basically they have two set of uh, uh virtual labs one is for the higher education and another is for the uh, school education okay so this one is uh, for the higher education we will search for the virtual lab the school education 
okay, especially in biology. So, so it's the same thing. Okay, so here, uh, if we go to the biology, you will see a large number of labs uh, which are uh, developed by NCRT and uh, Amrita University. They are available for class 10th, class 11th, 10th, 9th. Okay, so many labs which are available. So let's see this uh, one is the life cycle of the mosquito. You can try because it has the all similar structures and it, it gives you the a good content, uh, which is uh, like uh, the theory, animations, video, Bible voice, resources, and feedback. So first is the theory, that objectives, that covers objectives. And then uh, that uh, the content covers the uh, mosquito life cycle. It has the structures of the uh, ads, and then um, the larvae, pupa, and adult. Okay. So... These are the learning outcomes are also there. So then comes to the animation. So they have developed the video where you can see that uh, video is there to see, which is currently fetching from the uh, YouTube. You will see that video. Or you will see a little bit of it. So, okay. That's Playing up. eggs. It lays eggs on stagnant water and other containers that can hold water such as discarded tires, cans, buckets, etc. Okay, so this is uh, basically the day. animated video they have developed. They will hatch in one then to three days depending on uh, the temperature. The, uh, animation and this is the video they have developed. The same on the same pattern and after when you see that video so they have the bible verse you can give the question and answer and then they have the resources but here because this is the life cycle of a mosquito so they don't have that uh, simulation over there but we will see some other uh, content where uh, there's a possibility of simulation so that's uh, because uh, it will be the interactive content that it have So you can try any of the simulation. Similarly, uh, let's uh, maybe we can go. This is just one of the simple experiment. Yes, uh, it has that simulator. Here you will see that they have the theory, procedure, animation, uh, simulator, and other bio voice and resources and feedback. So let's directly. This is the study of the mitosis in onion root. Let's go to the simulator itself. So where they have provided the, that because uh, in, in this case, what you require actually in theory, if you see, this is the uh, things uh, that you need to do. Okay. So then this is a procedure. Procedures are the both that's a material required and the real lab procedure and the simulator procedure both are written over here. So let's, uh, this is the animation where they have developed that video. And then we have this uh, simulator. So in the simulator, first we need to um, choose that uh, the slide is there. Just drag that slide to the microscope. Okay. Then click on the lens and you will see that in the 40x power, how it is look like the onion uh, root tip look like this one. Now you can change the power. So for example, I wanted to see 100 power. So you click on this, but in 100 power, you definitely adjust the course okay course adjustment fine adjustment just do it and you will get that one okay so here you will see a little bit of fine adjustment we need to do so they have done it uh, uh, manually you can click on this uh, fine adjustment and accordingly you can do and uh, then slide adjustment you can also do in any of the direction so accordingly you will get it so this way they have uh, the simulations also uh, some Viva verse also and some other resources also. One uh, another portal that uh, even I'm using sometime. So it has a large number of content, which is the National Geographic Kids. So this is a very uh, actually very authentic resource of the various type of content, not just the video, because National Geographic is very famous for the video. But here you will see that we have that videos and uh, games apart from <clears throat> the other things. So let's go further. So for example, puzzle action. Other games 
So like when that's the first game we can try, this is a matching shock. And the same type of game actually you can develop using the H5P. So maybe you get motivated from here and develop some content on H5P itself. So we'll see that all these type of content you can develop using the H5P. So let's select this one. So matching pairs. So go for easy. So definitely that cards we also played uh, uh, during our times also, but there was a physical one. Now we have this uh, uh, virtual card. So you need to find the match. Okay. So, so now I know that these are two other lemon shock. And this one, and this one, the test led shock. <clears throat> and definitely this one, short film shock. So this way, <clears throat> We can have uh, interactivity within our classroom using all type of resources. So, because uh, as a teacher, we require the different type of resources, some type for teaching and some time for the fun. And if the fun resources are also from the biology, that's an add added benefit. And it has uh, definitely the large number of uh, videos. Uh, <clears throat> let's go for this uh, uh, weird but true. So they had created some stories, okay? So there is uh, one story about uh, this uh, toiletry, water up, hiccups, world record, all the moon. So all they have created this, uh, the biological story for the kids. So definitely you try it sometime. And um, somewhere I just um, forget at what menu, they have the live cam, okay? Because sometime I used to see that one animals like panda what they are actually doing in the live uh, lab so uh, because uh, um, the videos are being rendered from the us so this, this time it's a night over there but you can find out that uh, uh, where these videos are available on this portal i have seen it many times you can also try if you are interested in. so we just go through the different type of uh, uh, stories about the dinosaur okay so let's have this time is the uh, a pato saras so study because uh, the children are very much interested in uh, the dinosaurs. So you can uh, let the students know that what these uh, dinosaurs are. So accordingly, you will have that content. You will have all that uh, stories of all uh, these uh, animals and all other resources from here. So <clears throat> let me uh, bind up today's session because after some time we will be moving uh, towards uh, the main uh, screen. <clears throat> so uh, what we have uh, discussed that um, the different type of content that you wanted to use for your uh, teaching learning process, especially in biology. So you tried um, as many as resources are possible, but as a teacher, you, if you feel that you have access to these immersive resources, so then try for it, okay? Rather than to showing an image, if you show that uh, augmented reality resources, that's definitely about to uh, share that resources. So, and also if you have access to some virtual reality uh, devices uh, in Hanyu, because these are available in the market also, as I said, they're cheap also. So you can also try these type of resources. So now we have, uh, <clears throat> two three minutes to discuss if you have any question any query you may ask please <clears throat> uh, if you have any question um, if you have any help so you can ask because uh, they have told in within five minutes we will be redirecting to there so Okay, till the time, uh, if you do, if you wanted to ask question, you may ask, please. So, otherwise, uh, uh, I will be sharing uh, till the time some of the resources. So, that uh, might be helpful for you. Has anyone tried that uh, uh, tiger? Anyone? Yes, sir. Okay, so uh, it came to your room? Yes, it did. 
ab uh, uh, mam uh, since we have uh, one two minutes can you share uh, once again for all sorry sir is that possible for you to share for others that uh, how you did that on your uh, phone oh uh, even the process yeah uh, so i went to, i went to google mm -hmm. and i is typed a... uh, eh? mm -hmm. I type the word tiger and then as I scroll down, mm -hmm. um, I saw this option uh, show in 3D. Okay. So I clicked that one and then um, it just came on view in yeah, front that's, of me. <laughs> that's true. So likewise, a large number of animals and uh, other organisms, other systems and even all the uh, Olympic players which won the medal in last Olympics in Japan. They're all available. Just to search their name, you like PB Sindhu. The Sindhu will be coming to your room and playing the badminton over there. Okay, like the tiger is came over there. So that possibility is there. So you can uh, try it. So definitely, uh, you will be amazed to use these type of. Uh, apart from that, NCRT has developed uh, one um, augmented reality uh, app, PME Vidya, which is available for Android. Users on Play Store. You can also try this one, but the content is available for 9th and 10th currently. And few simulations are there to try. That can also be helpful. So, anyone having any uh, more queries or questions? Okay, so uh, if you don't have any question query, you may click on that um, uh, leave button. That's the blue button is there. But don't uh, leave out of the session, but just leave this room to come to the main room. So we will have a discussion and feedback over there. Okay. Uh, so just one question. Yeah, ma'am, please. Uh, so you're sharing the list of resources that we can use, right? Yeah. I will share that PPT itself. Okay, okay, thank you. And uh, you will get that book uh, that I showed you. Na? You download that book and even you can change that book Okay, with your content. You will get that the back end part of that ad book. You can change it. I use the software which is open source software, Sizzle. So if you uh, can download that software on your uh, laptop, so then you can change that book also. That possibility is there. Okay. Okay, so uh, we are uh, moving. If you have any question, any query, you may ask, please. Okay, so then we will be uh, leaving to the main screen. I'm going to there. Eh? Just click on that uh, um, leave button and then leave breakout room. Not leave meeting, just leave breakout room. So you will be uh, reaching to the main